so <clears throat> student today i am again with you with a, a new topic that is called the activity series and it is most important activity series which we are going we, uh, we will discuss here this activity uh, series uh, is very important play very important role for further uh, those who will uh, going to opt uh, in higher classes uh, science uh, subject uh, in chemistry they will study these uh, reactions also in electrochemicals there are the uh, very important concept which you will uh, uh, you will uh, study over there and this uh, series again and that uh, this series again uh, work now what is the significance of uh, this uh, series uh, the significance of this uh, series is to understand which kind of the metals or non metals are uh, going to uh, react of acid or base uh, yeah any kind of the solutions now here yesterday we are talk um, previous class we have talked about uh, that uh, uh, reaction of metal with uh, like uh, air reaction of metal with uh, oxygen reaction of metal with uh, water as well as we have uh, at last we have studied and the when the reacts uh, the metals reacts with acid there are the, uh, so many acids uh, i told you that uh, in copper the copper do not react with water and uh, what why uh, copper do not react with uh, that uh, uh, water because copper uh, is uh, less reactive as compared to this uh, activity in this activity series that's why the copper is not reacted with hydrogen and the sequence now i am going to talk about this activity series reactivity series the reactivity series talk about the the most uh, reactive element at top there is a most reactive element and it is in the reducing order that means it is started from top of the top at top the highest most reactive elements most reactive element metals or elements and at lowest the least reactive element now to understand which uh, which kind of the things is going, going to react now each uh, lower element each lower elements solution of each lower elements uh, react with the higher elements solution of the lower element is react with uh, the metals like uh, potassium and the so the solution of calcium will react with sodium here magnesium uh, solution is react with calcium but if it is the solution of calcium and uh, uh, reaction with magnesium then the magnesium is not going to react thus this sequence talk about which kind of the uh, metals will uh, replace to uh, the solutions metal now what happened when the reaction take place all these element top is the most reactive element are kept and at bottom only the least reactive elements are there the uh, potassium is the most reactive element in this series sodium then after sodium sodium is the uh, reactive element calcium then magnesium then aluminum then zinc then iron then lead 
then hydrogen. Above the hydrogens, all these are the considered as the most reactive elements. And lower the hydrogen, like copper, mercury, silver, and gold. These are the lower element under the hydrogen. That's why these elements are considered as a reactive element or least reactive element. These uh, kind of the elements, uh, metals, are not display any kind of the solution of this uh, higher reactive element. But if it is solution of these elements, then this uh, this uh, solution of this element then react with uh, these element uh, on the metals, then this metal will displaced and make their solution. Like uh, suppose that one there is a one element like potassium and it reacts with the solution of sodium sulfate. What happened here? Potassium K is potassium. Potassium when reacts with sodium sulfate. When reacts with sodium sulfate, what happened here? Potassium replaced sodium and and combined to sulfate, it gives potassium sulfate A2SO4 plus release sodium. In this kind of the things, the reaction will take place. When sodium is one first reaction, when second reaction, sodium when combined with Magnesium hydroxide. What happened here? Magnesium, uh, since sodium is a more reactive than magnesium, that's why sodium sodium uh, replace magnesium from here and combine together sodium hydroxide and magnesium will re release. In this way. In this way, the reaction takes place. Sodium is the highest, high reactive element. And this is magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide it converted into sodium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide converted into sodium hydroxide. When this kind of the reaction takes place in any kind of the chemical equation, then that kind of the reaction is known as displacement reaction. This kind of the reactions are known as displacement reaction. In which, what is display, displacement reaction? The highest element, uh, most highest reactive, reactive element will displace the lower uh, reactive element in the given solution. Most highest element, reactive element displays the least reactive element, least reactive element in the given solution. Most highest element, most reactive elements displays least reactive element in the given solution are called the displacement reaction. The reaction in which we can say write in this way the reaction, the chemical reaction 
chemical reaction in which most reactive element most reactive element displays least reactive element in the given solution it is called it is called the displacement reaction examples of this reaction is potassium when potassium is the highest uh, most reactive element and the solution is given is sodium sulfate solution the solution of sodium sulfate the solution of sodium sulfate in this equation in sodium is a least reactive element compared to potassium that's why potassium displaces sodium and forms sodium sulfate plus release sodium metal in this solution there is a solution of uh, magnesium hydroxide and which reacts with sodium since sodium is a higher reactive element compared to magnesium that's why magnesium is displaced by sodium and converted into sodium hydroxide plus magnesium after this solution after after this solution after the what happened the nature of the solution is uh, going to change and uh, the solution will become a basic in nature nature of this solution will become the basic in nature which you have to remember it now what happened here the reactive in this reactivity series sodium potassium calcium magnesium sodium i am uh, reading this name sodium write down the name of this element sodium na is put so uh, sorry k is potassium na is sodium ca is calcium mg is magnesium al is aluminum zn is zinc fe is iron pb is lead h is hydrogen cu is copper hg is mercury ag is silver au is gold this is the order where these elements are kept in sequential order top is the most reactive elements in this series the top is top element is most reactive element and it is in reducing order and at bottom the least reactive element is gold now uh, with that we can uh, understand what whether the reaction will take place or not chemical reaction will take place or not now the given examples has already shown you uh, when the sodium uh, potassium is uh, reacted with sodium sulfate the solution of sodium sulfate it converted into potassium sulfate and sodium whereas in case of the sodium when sodium magnesium hydroxide when reacts magnesium hydroxide uh, solution reacts with sodium metal sodium replace magnesium and get converted into sodium hydroxide with that the uh, this kind of the uh, reaction is known as a displacement reaction now i am taking the example of another example copper sulfate
CuSO4 is copper sulfate. When it reacts with zinc, what happens whether the reaction will take place or not? Here, since zinc is more reactive than the uh, copper sulfate, this copper element, that's why the reaction will take place. Here, the zinc sulfate, the new product will become the zinc sulfate plus copper release. Here, since copper uh, sulfate in uh, here is in a solution form, that's why the, the solution which obtained after reaction is again solution. Precipitate. We will get the precipitate of zinc sulfate and copper release. In this kind of the things, the reaction takes place. When we talk about the suppose that there is a copper and the reaction uh, with the sulfuric acid, the reaction is not going to take place. In dilute, the reaction will not take place. No reaction takes place. No reaction. Because since in that active, uh, reactivity series, the copper is a least reactive compared to hydrogen. That's why the reaction will not going to take place. Now it is all about the displacement reaction. There is a also formation of some color change which we have to remember. Now I am going to talk about the chemical property of non-metal. In reactivity series, all the non-metals are under the hydrogens, whether it is chlorine, bromine, iodine, any kind of the reactivity series, any kind of the non-metals uh, which is uh, not shown in that uh, reactivity series, all these non-metals have come under uh, hydrogens. Now what happened here, when we talk about the reaction with the hydrogen uh, reaction with air reaction with air any non metal when reacts with air air means oxygen what happened the non-metal converted into their oxide. When non-metal reacts with oxygen or air, it converted into their oxide. Like the, you can remember in this way, like Sulfur. Sulfur is a non-metal. When reacts with oxygen, it converted into sulfur dioxide. 
when we uh, talk about nitrogen when nitrogen reacts with oxygen it converted into nitrogen by oxide it is a sulfur it is nitrogen here sulfur dioxide product name is sulfur dioxide and it is nitrogen dioxide that means when the non metals reacts with oxygen it gives their oxide the nature of its oxide non metal oxide is acidic the non metal oxide the nature of non metal oxide is acidic the nature of non metal oxide is acidic you have to also understand you can uh, also write you can write, uh, write also here the nature of non metal oxide is acidic the nature of non metal oxide is acidic no oh, second reaction reaction with water reaction with water i have already told you that the formula of water is h2o plus non metal when non metal then in that activity series reactivity series all these non metals are least reactive compared to water hydrogen that's why when this kind of the situation takes place non metals do not react with water uh, hydrogen that's why the reaction is not going to take place no reaction whenever the non metals uh, reacts with water the reaction is uh, do not take place with water generally like that next reaction is reaction with acid again in the acid non metal plus acid every acid has a hydrogen that's why since here hydrogen is again the uh, most react, uh, reactive as compared to this non metal that's why this reaction again not take place no reaction take place like 
सल्फर प्लस एस सी एल नाइट्रोजन प्लस एच टू एस फोर दिस काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन विल नॉट टेक प्लेस नो रिएक्शन why this uh, reaction do not take place because the hydrogen is a most reactive compared to sulfur and that uh, compared to sulfur here hydrogen is most reactive than um, nitrogen that's why that's why the reaction will not take place no reaction there is a one reaction but in case of uh, nitric acid there is a one exception in case of nitric acid nitric acid hno3 it is a nitric acid when reacts with sulfur it Here HNO3 is concentrated and hot. Hot concentrated HNO3 reacts with sulfur and it provides sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide plus water. This reaction takes place only with in uh, nitric acid. when sulfur sulfur is a non metal generally the sulfur do not react with dilute h2so4 dilute hcl but in presence of the hot concentrated hno3 in that case the sulfur reacts with sulfur and converted into sulfur dioxide no2 nitrogen dioxide and h2o water this reaction take place only with HNO3, which is hot and which should be hot and concentrated. This hot concentrated HNO3 reacts with non-metal and get converted into sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide and H2O. It is all about chemical property of uh, non-metals. Now there is the small things are remain that is the uses of metals and non metals zinc and copper used in used to prevent number 2 uh 
आयरन कॉपर एंड एल्मोनियम एल्मोनियम आयरन कॉपर एंड एल्यूमिनियम आर यूज्ड इन मेकिंग कुकिंग यूटेंसिल्स आयरन कॉपर एंड एल्यूमिनियम आर यूज इन मेकिंग कुकिंग यूटेंसिल्स थर्ड मर्करी इज यूज used to make thermometer mercury is used to make thermometer these are the some uh, uses of metals also we are going to talk about uses of non metals we'll write down these uses uses of non metal uses of non metals write down these points phosphorus is used phosphorus is used to make fireworks and smoke screen phosphorus is used to make firewood and smoke screen number 2 graphite powder graphite powder graphite is used who is used in dry lubricant powder graphite is used dry lubricant third third non metals chlorine is used chlorine is used in this in Expectant. These are the some uses of uh, non-metals. There are many more. You can uh, go through your NCERT book. Out of that NCERT book, I have given the some uh, uses of metals and non-metals. Now, what you have to do, this is all about all the chapter of uh, metals and non-metals. Uh, I will also. Uh, give uh, uh, some solutions uh, of your ncert questions but before that what you have to do you have to complete your notes i have taught uh, four chapters till now and uh, conservation of plants and uh, uh, animals 
coal and petroleum combustion and flames metals and non metals these are the chapters which we i have discussed and uh, you all, all have to make the notes also that uh, uh, the uh, the questions can answer can also be done after coming uh, in your school whenever your school will open there will be some small test of all these chapters so uh, prepare all these chapters also it is not to uh, only make your notes you have to understand all the chapters also any problems if you are facing uh, through their videos write down your comment so that we can improve our uh, video also and uh, uh, give you proper uh, platform so that you you can increase your understanding also now it is all about all the chapter thank you we'll meet again for new chapter with new chapters